افغانستان علیه کشت خشخاش به تمام مانا استاد است و فعالیت می کند اگر جامعه بنوری همکاری کنه یا نکنه ما مجبور بر منفعت ملی خود علیه کشت خشخاش تاچه ایم و کشت خشخاش زد اسلام هست دین ما با قاطعیت خشخاش منه کرد We hope that the UN ODC project to create a counter-narcotics police interdiction force will make rapid progress. And we welcome all international support for this and other interdiction projects. The United Kingdom fully supports Afghan efforts to crack down on illegal cultivation. The United Kingdom supports eradication where it is targeted upon farmers who persist with opium cultivation despite having access to an alternative livelihood. Eradication is a, is a legitimate tool of drug law enforcement, but it is only part of the solution. Achieving sustainable reductions. In There is a lot of experience in this room and in our own countries which can be shared and built upon. We are all stakeholders in Afghanistan's future. We must prevent drugs from destroying that future. However, this question should be addressed with proper logic. ...in the working group today. These five plans include the following. To us, there is no difference between warlord or any ordinary criminal. We have to be tough. The government have a very decisive position. No matter in any rank, anywhere, in any cap capacity, if we are facing with the case, the people who are involved in the drug trafficking, we have to get rid of them. And this is the government decision, and we have to implement the law. Uh, the The United Kingdom contributes to a wide variety of law enforcement projects in Afghanistan, as of course do many other international donors. And the United Kingdom has provided some advice and funding to the Afghan Special Narcotics Force as part of our wider strategy to help the Afghan government to implement its national drug control strategy. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 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 